Ex-members of the Killingly Board of Education were back in Hartford today testifying for a third time in front of the Department of Education. Yeah, the hearing is part of the state's inquiry to determine whether or not the district is providing adequate mental health services to its students. NBC Connecticut's Dave Peck joins us live now from Hartford with the latest. Hi, Dave. Hey guys, yeah, things just about wrapping up here, though at this point no official determination has been made. For the majority of the day, lawyers representing both the state and Killingly families cross-examined the Killingly superintendent who assumed that role back in July. The wait list is almost as long as the number of students actually receiving services. Yeah, that's why we need another counselor. Killingly superintendent fielding questions over the district's state of mental health provisions. They have beefed up a lot of their programs and, and resources specifically to meet the needs of the children and will continue to do so. Today's hearing, the third of its kind, as the Department of Education determines whether Killingly is doing enough to meet the mental health needs of students. CSDE would be extremely happy if we were to find that they are implementing implementing material interventions, but right now we haven't seen that. These hearings come after the Killingly Board of Education voted down a specific mental health based service in March of 2022. It's inconceivable to me that a school board that had the best interests of students at heart would do that. The Killingly Board had a right to vote down at that particular company. It does not mean that they were uh, ignoring the needs of the students. This past spring, the district hired two mental health professionals through a different company known as CHR. There is one person that is at the high school and she's also at the middle school and then a second person is at the middle school. She said they plan on adding another counselor to address a growing wait list of students. There's a new board now and so things conceivably will change, but I think the purpose of this hearing is to make sure that it actually happens. Now, originally this was supposed to be the third and final hearing, but we just got word as the doors opened up that they have added at least one more where they will hear more witnesses and more testimonies, cross-examinations as well. That's coming from the state. No date specifically set at this point. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from a parent's perspective of this issue. For now, live in Hartford, Dave Peck, NBC Connecticut News. Guys, back to you.